I've been looking for the perfect minimal EDC bag and I think I found it in this, the MXD Fathom from Chrome Industries. It's lightweight, fairly modular, and just look how thin it is. So let's check it out. I also partner with Ebates on this video, so if you watch till the end, you can see how you can save quite a bit of moolah on this baby. So let's check it out again. As a quick overview, let's take a closer look. Four zippers on this bag in total, YKK all around, although not AquaGuard, aka water sealed, standard chest strap with dual pulls, nothing super fancy, although it is adjustable in height in case you're super short. It's got your typical plastic buckle though, no fancy seatbelt clip on this little guy. A metal plated logo face on the front, very solid, very slick. There's also a thick rubber plate on the inside of the bag. It's kind of odd with the dual branding, but still some very cool bad boy vibes. A thin and simple top handle, not padded, but it won't be carrying too much weight so so it's no big deal. Soft plush cushioning on the front pocket. Great for anything that may scratch easily like glasses or electronics. Reflective strips on the shoulder pad loops if you want to stay visible while riding in the dark. Some metal hardware like the D-ring attachment on the front and the shoulder strap adjusters. It doesn't do anything extra but does give the bag a less cheap feel. Padding throughout the back panel for added comfort and of course that 1680 ballistic nylon shell that surrounds the whole bag. I think the killer feature here is just how simple and minimal this bag is. It sits almost flush on your back which isn't a look a lot of people may want. It sort of reminds me of wearing a vest but on your back and if you're into that black on black on black this bag will definitely suit you perfectly of course with such a simple and minimal bag the aesthetic is fairly versatile too it goes well over a raincoat or heavier jacket without weighing you down even more or my favorite is a light coat like my levi commuter jacket it keeps everything close to the body so i don't feel like i've got so many things hang off me in every direction or just to keep it casual the bag works really well with any hoodie as it blends right under it you get to stay comfortable and light without bulking up but for the two of you that are wondering Yes, wearing this around front is just as cool and feasible. If you're into that tech wear scene, the versatility of this bag works with almost any blackout outfit. Or, you know, if you're a ninja and looking for a bag or something. But moving on to what I load out with, I fully utilize the shoulder straps to maximize my carry without bulking out my backside. Keeping items on my front side means less time spent taking the bag off to reach for items around back. So starting off, this really simple, almost a ripoff to buy silicone ring that is just surprisingly handy. It's built tough, but flexible, and you basically wrap it around your water bottle and it just hangs on firmly. Since the bag doesn't include an actual water bottle pocket around back, which I don't mind as it saves on bulkiness, and let's be honest, no one likes holding water bottles. I combo that with the Night Eye Slide Lock 360, this dual sided carabiner that attaches through a really strong magnet. It makes sipping water a breeze. And if you really want to secure it in, you can by twisting the magnet lock shut. If you want complete security though, the carabiner itself has a locking mechanism too to stop it from unclipping when you don't want it to. Made of metal all around, this takes modularity to the next level. On the other shoulder strap loops, I've got the Chrome Industries foam pouch, and attached on the bottom ring is my sunglasses of choice, the Distill Union Sullivan sunglasses. They're aviator style sunglasses with plenty of coverage, but their talent lies inside these rubberized handles with built-in magnets. If you're wondering why that matters, well, not only can you mount this on anything metal, having the handles stay shut magnetically means they don't slip off randomly no matter how hard you try. Oh, and thanks to the flexible and lightweight rubber frame, it can also take a beating too. Now before you go buying all this awesome gear, let's talk about how you can save some money while doing so. Thanks to our sponsor for this video, Ebates, the largest cashback site that partners with over 2,500 brand names like Best Buy, eBay, Walmart, Apple, and even Amazon. Yes, the site you've been buying diapers from every other day and didn't realize you could be making moolah from it. Now I'll admit, I'm a deal hunter at heart, but coupons aren't always available when I need to buy a lot of the gear I use for videos. It doesn't cost you anything extra. All you have to do is before making your purchase, go through the Ebates website to your desired shop. The bonus of doing so, they actually list any coupons and promo codes available too. Anyways, once you're activated, you're ready to earn money back from a purchase you're going to make anyway, so why not? Secret sauce though, download the Chrome extension and every time you visit a website that's partnered with Ebates, it'll actually remind you to activate the cash pack and simplify your life. That's not all though, sign up and make your first purchase over $25, which is like every purchase you do on Amazon anyways, and they'll give you a $10 welcome bonus. That's free money for an order you are going to make anyways. It costs you nothing, it actually makes you money, so what are you waiting for? Click the first link in the description, des description box down below to take advantage of all the deals. Now, back to showing you all the gear you're going to want to order after this video. 
Moving on, going inside the pouch, through the Velcro cover that's built like a tank, I spot my mini flashlight, the Nightcore TUP, or TUP for short. This rectangular little guy charges its 1200 milliamp battery through micro USB, so no pesky batteries to deal with. It's got four different output strengths, with the final going all the way up to 1000 lumens. For reference, here's the difference in a dark room. The built-in clip makes it really easy to carry around, especially since it's already such a tiny package. But for those going for a night ride, clip this onto a hat, and it makes for a really useful safety light, because safety is always first. On the opposite side, I've got my trusty all black pen of choice, the Fisher Space Bullet Pen. When opened and ready for business, it's your regular size full pen. It's comfy to use and the pressurized cartridge allows you to even write upside down. But when you store it away, it's about the size of my finger. It goes everywhere with me, just because it doesn't take up any space and its metal body can withstand being thrown around. Beside that, one of the smallest lighters you'll ever find, the Subota Q Lighter in all black of course. I don't actually smoke, but it's one of those just in case items you may never know when you actually need or if you just like making friends by offering them a lighter. It's got a metal body again and even shorter than my finger with this little guy. Inside the main pocket, these are my budget wireless earphones of choice from Funkle, the AIs. They're packed with features like Bluetooth 5.0, 6 hour battery life with an additional 18 from the case, works with most AI assistants like Alexa, Google, and Siri, and they're even IPX5 water resistant. Now you can't go swimming with them, but if you're a sweater like I am, this will handle it like a champ. And all that for about 80 bucks, half the cost of most other big brands. Next, I carry a phone lens underneath that that, but this ain't a regular one, it's a 360 lens for your iPhone. This is with the Fusion Lens 2.0 on my front camera for the iPhone 10. You can see how wide that is in this 23 by 9 ratio. Now the stabilization is still being developed, but you can see how buttery smooth that movement is when I move the phone around. Thanks to that fisheye lens in the front, you have so much room to play with. Now they don't have 360 video yet, but they do have this available. Lastly, hidden inside the front sleeve, a Tile Pro, so I can do this through the pocket. Tiles allow me to ping my iPhone for those times when I have it hidden under a pillow or something. I can easily activate it through the pouch thanks to how slim these are. And with the new Pro models, they fixed the one thing everyone hated, the batteries are now replaceable. These take up little to no space, but save you so much time when you're rushing out of the house and you're stressing you forgot your iPhone on top of the toilet after taking a number two. Attach a tile onto your set of keys as well, and you can use the app to do the same and ping your keys that are hiding underneath your other junk. Those minutes you save every morning trying to find your keys do add up. That's everything in the shoulder pouch. Built with the same ballistic nylon, it keeps my quick access essentials protected. Now on that same shoulder, I also keep my hero clip handy. This large carabiner is made of metal all around, so don't worry about scratching it up. But what makes it special is the hook built into it. Clip your bag onto one end, then hang your bag on a door, table, or anything up high to basically keep the bottom of your bag off those grimy public washing floors. When you're done with it, it easily flips back in, and it takes up about the same space as a regular carabiner. Now that's what I accessorize my shoulder strap loops with. There are quite a few to work with, so go crazy. Looking into the bag itself, let's start with the hidden side pocket. Meant to be easily accessible by swinging the bag around one shoulder, it's a pretty large and deep pocket which is where I store my gloves because Canada is cold as heck right now. I'm rolling with the Mujo touchscreen gloves, they're not the cheapest pair but they definitely feel amazing. This is the layered model which has rubber gripping throughout the palms and fingers. It certainly helps with gripping things in the cold outdoors, but combine that with the conductive thread woven within the gloves, you're still able to sext while freezing your butt off outside. The only other thing I keep in here is my microfiber towel. Lightweight, it dries quick, and I use it as a sweat towel because, well, I sweat a lot. No shame. The pocket is padded thanks to the surrounding pocket so you could store your phone or wallet there too for quick access on the go. Moving along to the D-ring smack dead center on the bag, I've got my handy dispatch utility strap clipped onto it. It's simply a loop of thick webbing attached by the fancy fidlock connector that's very addictive to play with, but in practical use makes it easy to unclip. You can attach an extra or wet jacket and you've basically added added an additional pocket to your bag without bulking up its minimal profile. It stays in securely, can adjust to fit large or smaller items, and isn't limited to clothing. It's wide and sturdy enough to hold whatever you don't want mixed with your other items. Now the D-ring is one if not my most favorite feature thanks to the range of possibilities. For you bikers, you can store your helmet easily and securely thanks to the center positioning of the ring. It won't be dragging you one way or the other. You can also attach a light, so while you're riding you can be seen. I've got a simple Lazine, Lazine Femto bike light that has a built-in clip on the back that fits snug. A perfect pairing for your next ride. And lastly, thanks to the multi-purpose nature of these Night Eyes gear ties, if you've ever used a paper twist, this is a really fancy and sturdy big brother to that. It can hold its shape, 
tie around itself and can lift some pretty heavy loads without ripping apart. I wrap one end around the head of an umbrella which allows me to attach the other end to the D-ring and it keeps it tightly in place without flailing around. You'd almost think the umbrella is built into the bag because it fits so perfectly between the other two pockets and it's still easily removable when you get caught in some drizzles. If you're wondering about the umbrella itself, it's a highly reviewed Amazon Basics travel umbrella with the built-in button to auto open to a full size umbrella and with the same click, close shut and store away at only 11 inches. On the note of being able to accommodate different carry methods though, the D-ring in combination with the shoulder strap loops makes this tiny bag very modular. Anything you store on the D-ring can also be stored on the shoulder straps too. This gives you the freedom to choose a front load or rear loading carry style without needing to bulk up the bag itself. Probably the number one reason I'd recommend the bag if you plan to accessorize it like I love to. Moving along to the outer side pockets, they've got a little volume stretching out about an inch thick with a full half zip to access which is greatly appreciated. The left pocket is slightly padded, it won't save you from sharp objects, but is a good in-between from being super thick to having nothing at all. First up, what I throw on top of everything, my Swiftpoint GT mouse. It's a regular mouse reinvented to be held ergonomically between three fingers. This tiny little sucker has left and right click, along with a scroll wheel built in, all in less than half the size of a regular mouse, and when paired with a laptop, can actually be used on the palm rest when on the go without a table handy. I also pair this with my iPad. Yes, a mouse for your iPad, but I'll get into that in a bit. Next up, attach the include a key loop, I've got my KeySmart Pro, a key organizer that attaches all your keys on a pivot point that you can easily swing open to access. That means no more jingling and trying to straighten out your keychain. Plus, the built-in flashlight solves the problem everyone has faced once before. Trying to fit the key in the hole at night, and no, that's not a sexual innuendo. This is a real problem, and the built-in flashlight on the KeySmart solves it. The smart features don't end there though. Remember the Tile Pro that pinged your iPhone? Well, this little guy has the Tile features built right into it. It's the best alternative if you don't already own a Tile as this means you can ping your keys directly from the Tile app and save those precious minutes every morning from trying to find them. And what's even better than replaceable batteries on the Tile Pro? This one is rechargeable. The downside though, that's another device you have to remember to charge. Next, my water bottle of choice that is a match made in heaven for this pocket, the Memo Bottle A5. Made of BPA free plastic and stores up to 750 milliliters, this rectangular bottle is the size of, well, an A5 notebook that also just coincidentally is the right dimensions to fit inside this pocket. It's oddly satisfying how perfect this is. And the mesh pocket behind that though is my external battery, the Multi Power Station Plus XL. With the fabric finish on one side and the built-in lightning cable wrapped around the edges, this pairs perfectly with my iPhone X since that soft finish won't scratch up your phone and it's about the same size which means when plugged in for a charge, the whole package is still manageable one-handed. No more long dangling wires you have to deal with getting caught on everything around you and when you're done, it easily packs away inside itself. Plus a little extra gimmick, it can actually wireless charge itself too. Neat. Finally, just tossed inside the pocket, my favorite little knife to date, the Kershaw Shuffle DIY. Not only does it look cool, the grip is one of my favorite as the grooves curve naturally to the hand. I personally prefer the shorter blade as I use it for smaller tasks and it's less intimidating for everyone else around. And the frame lock works perfectly to keep the blade in place safely. The matte finish looks and feels good in the hand, but it's this bottom hole that completes the package. Utilizing the two built-in hex bits, you can have a flathead on demand within this knife or easily swap it for the Phillips bit. The three most common tools I use all in this wicked little package that does a surprisingly good job at keeping everything in place. And if you're wondering how small, here's it compared to a regular sized banana. And yes, it is a really sharp blade. Now that's a smooth cut. That's the left pocket with the built-in key loop, mesh pocket organizer, and a fairly open space. Moving on to the right pocket isn't much different, except this one is lined in a soft cushiony fabric, which is why I store my Nintendo Switch all on its own in here. Once again though, it's the perfect height and width like Chrome designed it just for the Switch. And combine that with the soft padding to keep my baby scratch free. If you're wondering what I've been playing though, Tetris 99 is the way to go. It's a free-to-play Tetris Battle Royale with 98 other players. Enough said. There's also a sleeve in here and I stuff my game cartridges inside a Muji case that again coincidentally is the perfect height and length for 8 cartridges in total. The frosted finish helps with figuring out what games I have inside and the case is a simple snap closure. Nothing fancy but keeps my games organized. That's it for the front pockets, both about the same size but the extra padding on the right is great for more sensitive items that may be prone to cracking easier. Finally, the last and main pocket access through a zipper running across the whole width of the bag. It's divided into two sections, both not offering much in 
volume. With a divider that's quite soft, although it does add a little padding to the contents, it lacks any structure and can be difficult to insert and remove items as it gets caught when doing so. But don't let the flat nature of the pockets fool you, you're still able to load out quite a bit. Like within the back pocket, I store my mobile workhorse, the iPad Pro 10.5 inch. Of course, paired with my favorite stylus, the Apple Pencil attached on a pen loop, but with the MoxieWare magnet case, you're also able to float it magnetically on the case and iPad 2 for quick retrieval. I don't think I need to explain why the iPad is awesome, and yes, it has its limitations, but that's what the Swiftpoint GT I showed earlier comes in to solve that. Using a mouse on the iPad is possible, although not on the iOS interface itself. When paired with a remote desktop app like Jump Desktop, the app lets you connect to your full-fledged desktop at home, and even as a touchscreen mouse, and allows for your connected keyboard to interact with it too. But nothing beats using Windows with a mouse, and the Swiftpoint GT works flawlessly in this combination. You're able to perform any task you would on a regular desktop, and yes, that includes editing with Adobe too. You've got left and right click along with the full scroll wheel in this cutesy little package. Now on the other side of the divider, I carry my notebook, a classic moleskin square hardcover. It allows for me to mind dump visually, but also write actual words too. Attached to it is what makes it interesting though. This is the Kokoya pencil case that clips onto a notebook corner for easy carry. Made of a nylon, it feels like a premium build. There's a quick access pocket right on the front for some pens or flatter items. It snaps open through two buttons, then opens up like a little storage unit with walls. I fit three pens and even a smaller field notes notebook within it. There's also a velcro enclosed mesh pocket on one side to help you stay organized. I use it to store a mini ruler because we all suck at drawing straight lines. When closed, there's no chance of anything falling out and the hard backing helps keeps the cases structure without bending any of the goods inside. Next up when you're out and about, sometimes you just need a picnic break or to just lie down anywhere. That's where the Matador pocket blanket is super useful for its size. When folded out, as a six foot tall person, I can comfortably lie down without having to touch my dirty room floor. It's very lightweight, but the nylon is water and puncture proof too. And if it's a windy day, the included metal stakes on each corner prevent it from flying away. It's such a large space packed into the palm of your hand. It's a no brainer to have it on you at all times. Lastly, this one's a recommendation if you carry a lot of small knickknacks. The gridded organizer becomes super handy in this situation. Strap everything down and the whole panel sits flat, which means it fits within the slim nature of the bag and you won't have to go digging around for every little thing in the larger main compartment. Everything I'd carry with me on a daily commute to a coffee shop, out to the park, or even to the office. Keeping to the bare essentials and not having my bag weigh me down. There's also plenty of options for modular loads to fit your carry style, all packed into this really slim profile. And if you're wondering, yes, this bag can carry up to a 13 inch laptop. If I know I'm working on more intensive tasks, I can swap out the main compartment items for that and then throw my charger into one of the front pockets. All in all, probably the thinnest laptop bag you'll ever use. And everyone who's riding with you on the bus during rush hour will be super thankful when you don't need to take it off unlike the jerk next to you. But lastly, a note on comfort, with my full loadout, albeit not a lot to begin with, because the bag and all my contents sit so close to my body, it doesn't feel like anything is dragging me down. Even the simple task of using the chest strap helps tremendously too in making this whole setup feel really light over extended usage. Combine that with the padding on the backside and the fairly cushioned shoulder pads, in my opinion, it makes this 13 liter bag the perfect commuter EDC bag. You heard it here first. Now, although I really love this bag, there are some things to consider. First off, because it's so flat when it's fully packed, it does have a hard time standing on its own. You will have to lean it against something, but when you do, be mindful there isn't a lot of padding for the laptop tablet pocket, nor is it lifted. The biggest disappointment for me is the lack of waterproofing though. Although they are YKK zippers, they aren't AquaGuard, which means in heavy rain, it will inevitably leak through. For a bag targeted to people on the move, especially while biking, you're going to get caught in the rain once in a while. Now the benefit of such a slim bag though, it easily fits under a raincoat. It's a solution to a problem that shouldn't exist for this type of bag though. So Chrome, if you added AquaGuard zippers, sealed all the seams, and left everything else the same, I'd pay the premium, and I think a lot of others would too, for the perfect, ultimate, fantastic EDC bag. Ebates is having a triple cashback promotion for the next few days. That means if you want to pick up this bag from Ebags, a Ebates retailer that regularly offers 5% cashback, during this promotion, they'll offer 15% cashback. That's insane, but not over yet. Use my eBags link down below and save 25% on this bag. That's savings galore. That's it, you EDC fanatics. Ride free, carry less, and always wear a helmet because safety is always first. I rest my bag.